Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be setting up free radius on Ubuntu. Uh, and this is an amazing radius software. Um, and basically what radius is, is it's 802.11x. Um, so anytime you plug into an ethernet jack, it asks you to log in. That's a radius server. Anytime you click a Wi-Fi network and it has a username and password, that's likely a radius server or an active directory server. But um, yeah, so radio servers are really nice for enterprises and businesses because every user can have their own login. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up free radius here on Ubuntu. Uh, my virtual machine is being created at the moment. So if you want, there is full written instructions available on my documentation website. I mean, every single aspect of this video is going to be on this website. Um, so the video is more of a walkthrough on how to install it. If you don't want to read the instructions, you can watch a video. Uh, and it will show you how to install it, but it's a pretty straightforward installation process I'm gonna wait for this VM to be created and then we will be good to go. Okay, so our virtual machine is now created I'm connected to it as you can see here So I'm going to run the update commands. Uh, I'm just going to copy this install command and Yep, so we're gonna run sudo apt update And sudo apt upgrade dash y now this is a fresh Ubuntu image So I mean it really shouldn't have to do any updates I would think but yeah, there you go. Okay, now we're going to install all of those things. It's going to take a little bit, depending on your internet connection. Um, then we're going to enable. Okay. All right, cool. So now we can say sudo systemctl enable now Apache 2. And we're going to say sudo systemctl enable free radius. Now notice I'm not saying now here for free radius. Um, and that's because we're going to start it a little bit later. I don't want it to start yet until we get the um, SQL database set up and all that kind of stuff. So. Now we're going to run sudo my sql secure installation. So I'm going to say no password. I'm going to say um, we're not going to switch. And we're not going to switch through password. Uh, yes, that's fine. Yes, yes, and yes. All right, cool. So now we're going to run sudo my sql. There we go. All right, so now we're logged in. You just run sudo my sql as a command. Um, so now we need to create our radius database. So we're going to say create database radius. Now I would call it radius because later on you'll need to reference that later. So if you don't call it something, if you don't call it radius, you're going to have to pay attention later on and you'll make that switch later. So we're going to create database. Now we're going to create a user. <laughs> create user here. Radius at localhost. And we're going to identify by. And we're just going to make password123 for now. Does not need to be secure. Um, but there we go. I must have spelled identified wrong. All right, there we go. And then we're going to grant privileges on the database to our user. This basically tells it that the user can access that database. Okay, and finally we're going to flush the privileges. Just like that, and we're going to quit. So basically what we did, we created the database that Radius is going to use, created a user account that Radius can use to access it, give it privileges, and reloaded those privileges. So, now we're going to run sudo su, I think, yep. So that's going to change us to the root user. Now, I'm going to copy this because... It's quite the commands and these are all separate on the guide here because you're supposed to run them separately you can't really run them all at once so it prompted me for the password and click enter because I did not set a root password uh, and that's all we're gonna type in exit and I believe there's one more shoot there we go so sudo ln s here it's the free radius command so this is basically these two commands basically just linked the radius free radius application in the SQL database next we're going to connect free gradius to sql just tell it the credentials we gave it earlier um i don't remember where it's supposed to be okay so there's a bunch of things we're supposed to change here so i'm just going to copy these Control w paste them in and search so we're going to uncomment this one comment that one then what's next we need to change sqlite um we're going to change this to my sql all right, read clients it needs to be yes. So we're going to copy this one. It's just easier to copy and search it here. You need to 
uncomment that client table nas that's fine so that those are both right next to each other so cool so then we need to comment out our tls settings because we are not using a certificate to connect to our sql database so we need to scroll through and find it i'm just using the mouse wheel to scroll through right now right here okay comment out all of these lines here we do not need these just like so and control x y and enter wait actually i think there's more yeah don't close out of that yet um now we actually need to type in our credentials so we need to go find it here um i'm sure there's something i can search yeah right here so connection info let's uncomment all of this stuff out and i believe i said password one two three so then down here this where it says radius database if you change your database name change that here as well i'm going to do Control x y and then enter to close out of that and we're going to run all of these commands these can all run at once changing permissions and restarting free radius next we're going to install php my admin which is something i would highly recommend it's going to be so much easier for you to manage the database and we're going to automatically configure this i just click space enter it's going to configure apache for us uh, and then it's going to ask us for our SQL credentials. All right, we're going to configure database and password. We're just going to click enter. And there we go. That's it. Finally, if you want to dynamically assign your VLAN, so if you have like a Unify hardware or whatever, um, and you want to assign VLANs to your users automatically, run this command down here. Actually, that needs to be root. Wait, does it? Apparently, you don't need root. OK. We're going to change this real quick because apparently we do not need to be the root user for this command. Just like that. All right. So now we're going to search use tunneled reply. And it's the second occurrence of that in the file. So right there where it says no, change that to yes. And sudo systemctl restart free radius. And that is all. So the next thing you're going to do, so I'm going to grab the IP here. We're gonna log in PHP my admin. Is that not the right IP? Oh, it's 10139. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna log into root. Oh. So I'm gonna just type in the radius user for now. Just because it's gonna be easier. We're gonna click radius. As you can see, we have all these things here. So I'm gonna add a NAS, which is basically the router that's going to be connecting to it. So super secret, all you need. Alright, I'm gonna interrupt this here. So basically what you need, the secret, is what your router is going to enter in as the passcode for your Radius server. So when you go to log into your Radius server, when you configure it on your router, that's what the secret is. So that's why I just said super secret. It doesn't really matter to me what the authentication is, but you just have to have that there. And then you also have to have a server, which is your IP of your router. You have to have both of those things there uh, before you click save and before you reload your changes. That way your router can actually connect to the Radius server is really NAS name just to keep track of it unify we're gonna say and just click go that's all so then every time you make a change you're gonna to want to restart your radius server so you can do this by sudo service free radius reload and that will just reload your settings so all of these are where you're gonna actually fill in your accounts I'm not gonna go into that too much in this video but all of these here over on the side that's where you put your accounts, your groups, your profiles, all that kind of stuff. But for now, that is all for today. There we go. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.